Now, this is a good question for patients to ask their physician specifically, and I encourage families to have a very direct one-on-one -on -one conversation with their doc and also to have a seizure action plan. Uh, for me and my patients, it's very specific on what type of seizures the patient has. Um, the way that I practice and the way that um, I practice in several different institutions is that if the patient is um, a known epileptic and has been for years, if the parents are comfortable with the seizure, if there's nothing concerning about the seizure, so the duration is typical, the type of seizure is typical, the patient arouses and is acting themselves afterwards, then I don't ask my families to call 911 after diastat. Um, however, on the flip side, if I'm taking care of a patient whose seizures um, always tend to be extended, it, it, they have secondary complications or complications as a, result, as a result of the seizure, such as they turn blue or dusky, um, or they're not breathing well during or after the seizure, if there's any warning signs about the seizure, um, such that the seizure is unusually long, or um, the patient or child is not waking up after the seizure as usual, there's a fever accompanied by it. If there's any, any warning or concern whatsoever, I do tell those parents, go ahead and call 911 when you're giving this diastat. Um, so that's a good question, but it, it is unique to the patient and something that your doctor should make a decision with you when considering all the factors of your particular epilepsy.